All right, and today I just converted a uh, mechanical fuel system to an e-fuel system because in this particular motor the fuel pump is driven by a lobe on the cam which is worn to the point that it will no longer make contact and articulate the finger that causes that pump to do its thing and pump. So instead of tearing the motor apart and replacing the cam or replacing the lobe if it's got a replaceable lobe we opted to go this route for now and I just ran it uh, on a regular freaking two circuit relay I got a filter and then a filter and then just running it up the main base fuel line feed to the carburetor to our third filter a little screen there and uh, ran it to an ignition hot circuit over here on the starter relay so that it's got fuel when the key is in the on position battery was dead so I had to give it a little bit of a boost with my my Ranger there but what we're working on today is a 1965 Ford Bronco and that gorgeous isn't that absolutely gorgeous man some of the stuff I get to work on I am spoiled I'm a very spoiled wizard Beautiful truck, absolutely beautiful. And it's not 100% original. It's had a little resto mod done. But uh, very nicely done. It's a beautiful, beautiful truck. All right. Ignition on. Fuel pump is running. Yeehaw. Oh, it's a pretty truck. Potentially, potentially for sale. All right, moment of truth. We got juice going to it. Batteries took a little bit of a charge. We're gonna try and spin her over. Got her on, fuel pump is running, fuel bowl is full. And see if she starts. And this will be the first time if she does of starting in a good while um, on anything other than a little squirt or two of starting fluid. So, cross them fingers. Ooh, that was close. She's alive. How about them apples, huh? See, are we in gear or are we out of gear? We're out of gear, okay. Good deal. It's alive. Ooh! Woo! That smooth idle. The carburetor is gonna need a rebuild here pretty soon too. It's got some leaky leaks. And it's running lean on one or two cylinders, from what I hear. Yep. Yep. Time to rebuild the carburetor. But hey, she's back alive. She's alive. Said, let her kind of hot idle here for a second flush some of that old gummy shit out from that carburetor it's been sitting quite a while and it was so gummed up when I did get fuel to it 
the uh, float bowl wasn't closing and it was just squirting fuel into the freaking primary. It had to go somewhere. If that fuel float bowl wasn't closing, fuel is just gonna keep on going into the carburetor. Well, beautiful. Beautiful. Mission complete. Thank mm -hmm. you.